I just want to really get into the modern day female because we can't talk about the women of 40, 50 years ago, even though this stuff, same stuff could have been going on. Absolutely. But we are in the age of information, like all the information is there, you know, and all the chances to go and, and get with other women is there as well. Or to get with other men as far as women, you know, us as men, uh, we can go and we can meet women on dating websites where we can meet women on social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, you got women who do the same, but they're probably getting more attention because they can pick and choose. Um, I mean, men can too as well, but I think women can choose the trajectory of their life just based off of the men that they deal with. Um, but if a woman has an immature mindset, it's going to affect her dating because she's going to date the men who fit that immature mindset, you know? Now, I truly believe that there are more women messing around than men. And there are women, there's some women in the chat room that are agreeing with me because they probably know women who are doing it. I had a coworker one time who came to, to me and others and he told us, this was an older guy in his 40s, he talked about how he was at the laundromat, right? And there was a female, she had a bunch of kids and she came up to him and she was trying to, you know, she was choosing. And he said he told the girl he had a girlfriend, but she was saying she was okay being his side piece. Now, I'm not saying that this guy is 100% truthful, but the dude used to, you know, he, he's a bit of a street dude. Um, he used to deal back in the day, you know, kind of known, not not as much now, but back in the day. So he, he probably has a, a energy about him that maybe attracts women to him. Um, but she was attracted to him enough to want to be a side piece, you know. But I think because he wasn't attracted to her, he declined. But he probably could have got some from that female right then and there in that laundromat. That's how women can be when they are attracted to men. Okay? Women can be super aggressive. All it takes is for that man to say yes. And nine times out of ten, if a woman presents herself as wanting to get with the guy, he's going to take the bait. He's going to do it. That's why I think it's easier for more women to get around than men. You know, look at look at men who have multiple kids, right? Like you got a you got a bunch, you got number, you got like what three guys in in Tennessee that has over what like seventy five kids, I believe, or sixty kids, like three guys, three. Okay, they're getting with all these women. Ain't no way in the world <laughs> that should be possible, but it is if you have a woman who is just too, they're just so attracted to a guy, right? They're willing to throw their morals out the window. They're willing to throw their relationship out the window if their dude finds out just to get with this guy. Why do you think a guy who has multiple baby mamas is able to find a girlfriend quite easily? It is because... There are women out there that are attracted to men who have multiple baby mothers, who have multiple kids. One, because she thinks it will be easier for him to accept her having kids. And two, you have a guy who really has no standards. You know, you have a guy who's going to bring drama into her life that she really craves. There's women out there that craves drama to keep them going to, so they can talk to their girlfriends about it. They can talk to their coworkers about it. They don't want to be boring. They don't want to have a boring dating life. Unfortunately, this is why, yes, nice guys are finishing last. Nice guys get no respect because there are women out there. They want to be entertained. They like being in dysfunctional relationships. They like to be able to go back and forth with their dude, kick him out the house, call the police on him. It's just those type of relationships are have become too much of the norm. Okay? So, if you have a woman that's paying all the bills, right, and she's dating this guy, m more than likely she's probably dealing with other guys because she don't respect the dude that she is with. Because she's paying all the bills. He's living with her. So there is no respect there. She's constantly getting into it with him. She don't respect him. 
So do you think a woman that doesn't respect a man is going to be faithful to him? That's not going to happen. I don't care how much you think you laying it down in the bedroom. She will still go out and seek male energy that is dominant. Male energy that is not dependent on her. Male energy that can make her feel feminine because she feels so masculine in a relationship. She wants to feel feminine. And you ain't doing it for her, man. <laughs> you may think you are, but trust and believe. Um, when you think you done done something, she on the phone talking to the next guy. That's how this, that's how these modern day chicks be. They have no problem being double digit clutchers. Okay, they have no problem being double digit clutchers, man. Because they have no respect for men who basically they're taking care of or men who aren't accomplishing what the men who are trying to get with her are accomplishing. Like if you're a guy, you ain't got no car. You may work a job where you're I mean, you're you're making money, but you're not making enough to fund her lifestyle. Oh, she's going to go seek that elsewhere. She's going to find a man who's going to be able to pay her cell phone bill, get her hair done, promise to take her on vacations help her with a car payments. You can't do that. So what she's going to do is she's going to put all of her feminine energy into pleasing that man, not you. You're just going to get the angry her. You're going to get the frustrated her. And you might not even know what's going on. What's going on is you're not feeding her financially or mentally. If you're not a guy who mentally can steer a woman in the right direction, if a woman can't come to you and seek out you mentally, she doesn't ask questions. She doesn't really listen to you. You know, when you're talking to her, it goes from one ear and out the other. You've already lost, bro. She's going to be seeking that elsewhere. This is why you have these pastors in these communities who are able to get with all these women because they're able to give these women a sense of, uh, a sense of, I want to say intelligence, but mentally is able to they can learn something from if they are learning something but i'm just saying you know now you also have women man who will be in relationships with guys who are breadwinners you know guys who do work hard guys who do respect them you know guys who may look the way they want them to look i.e natalie nunn that i made a video about today you know but you still got women who are who still can't get out of that thizot phase. They're still in that thizot phase. You know, they ain't got out the thizot phase yet. And because they ain't got out the thizot phase yet, they're in a situation where they want to go seek that fun. So they go, go, they go and they seek that fun, man. Whether it be with men or it could be with women. You know, because you working, you ain't there. You know, you're not really having fun with her. She, If you're not having fun with her, she's going to find somebody to have fun with. Because she has not gotten out of that this odd phase. No matter how old she is. Natalie Nunn is 34 years old. And she's hanging around 22 year olds. What does that tell you about her? That tells you that this person is not mentally matured. As a matter of fact, they still want to be young. They still want to be in these streets. Because they belong to the streets. They belong to the streets. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think that you have to understand the type of woman you're giving your energy to. You can't turn a thought into a housewife. You just can't do it. The guy Jacob Payne, who Natalie Nunn is married to, he's seeking to do that. But, bro, let me just say this. If we as men get caught dealing with other women, we have to go on apology tours. We have to grovel and beg for forgiveness. And even then, it's going to be held over our heads. It's going to be thrown in our face. But with women, and that's the reason why I made the video today, they will do things like what Natalie did. And people will completely sweep it under the rug as if it didn't happen. Because they don't want to hold women accountable. Matter of fact, before I went live, I saw that 
I guess Jacob is 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 trying is trying to mend things with Natalie. Bro, let me tell you something. You get back with her, she's gonna do it again. She's just gonna make sure she's more careful. Because women are very careful when they're dealing with other men. And they're gonna make sure you don't know unless they're trying to leave you. I think the other female being involved was, you know, it, it was a loose end that never got tied. You know? She probably thought she could trust her because, again, women will have each other's back until they get into it. You know, until they're no longer friends and then secrets will fly. Or if two women are jealous of each other, they will definitely tell secrets of each other. I've seen it. I've seen half sisters, a chick who's a half sister with another female tell me, you know, all the, the thought behavior of her sister because she knew I liked her sister more than I liked her. Even though this chick was married. Now. What we have to understand gentlemen. Is that you have to be able to take a woman for her nature. If a, if, if a woman shows you who she is. That's who she is. Especially when they're already. 35, 36 years old. Close to 40. And they're still doing these things. You would think that. Dog I mean you, you settled down right. You married. You would think that you're done with that, but you have females that no matter how good of a life they may have with the significant other, having a kid, they still want that excitement. That excitement don't go away. Go to Natalie Nunn's Instagram. I mean, she's showing you the assets and every, every for you know why? Because, you know, she has a very strong face. And when you and when you're a woman and you may not feel like you may be insecure, you may not feel like you're the most attractive. You know, you're going to be showing, you know, your uh, your net worth. OK, and the net worth is in the assets. I mean, unfortunately, that is what's going on with a lot of women um, on social media who feel insecure that they have to show their bodies in order to feel good about themselves. But when you tie the knot and you marry somebody, you don't want them messing around on you. Why are you messing around on them? You know, and I think that. A lot of the modern day women of today just don't want monogamy. They don't. I mean, they want one sided monogamy. You know, they want the man to be faithful. But, you know, it's OK for them to dibble and dab as long as they don't get caught. You know what I'm saying? But I know I know when I know that women out there that deal with men who mess around. They're OK with that as long as they don't find out. So, I mean, it goes both ways. But I'm just saying the way it's dealt with i mean men get vilified even though we as men are natural breeders i'm not saying that we should be out here messing around with all these different chicks and getting them pregnant i'm not saying that what i'm saying is women bring morality in a relationship because they're going to be basically the teachers of culture to the children so what they do should matter a lot more not saying that not saying that men should be out here just getting with this woman no i'm not saying that i'm just saying like as a woman, you got to hold yourself to a higher regard. You know, if you're a woman who's used to a certain lifestyle, you know, you're not going to settle for for things that you feel like don't fit that. Right. So the same would go for relationships. You know.